Okay, what we have here is the Moffettville Historical Museum. Uh, this is a demonstration of the sonar capabilities uh, right here that uh, people in the anti-submarine business, they had to understand and listen to these sounds uh, in order and then identify them. So uh, I'm going to sit down. And uh, this is a, a new program that we have just, just made here. And uh, we had made by a, uh, a volunteer who was able to do this. And what this shows you is uh, is some of the natural sounds, some of the ship sounds, that, uh, and even some of the weapons uh, that they had. So we'll start with the uh, uh, dolphin. This is, for instance, you had to identify this. When you went to school, you had to go ahead and identify this sound. Now here is the sound of dolphins, plus the, uh, the readout here that you would get on a, a scope, an audio uh, uh, description right here. That, that is it. Now the biggest living thing there is, this would give you an idea of what the blue whale, this is an actual recording of the blue whale uh, communicating. These are the natural sounds that you would have to know. And uh, I'm going to skip here and uh, listen to what polar ice would sound like. Again, you had to identify these sounds in the school before you could uh, uh, be qualified. And then we can skip that to, we can even go down to, um, to uh, submarines and uh, cargo ships. And these are some of the sounds that you would hear with the uh, uh, ships. And again, the audio signal you would get familiar with. And uh, including, now we can go down to the weapons. Uh, this will give you an idea of some of the things that they had aboard. Uh, for instance, this would be echo ranging. This would be an echo that would, or a sound that would be uh, emitted from a sonoboy, and you're waiting for the echo to come back. No echo coming back. This radiates out from the sonoboy itself. And now this is what would happen if you got an echo coming back. Now listen to this, you'll hear the sound going out and the echo coming back. Here's the echo coming back. You measure the milliseconds that it took to come back. And then you would go ahead and uh, you could uh, locate exactly where the submarine was located. And, uh, okay, that is, uh, and here is a sub-launch torpedo. This is if you're in a submarine, you fire a, a, a torpedo out the bow and listen to it in about uh, 10 seconds or 8 seconds, you'll hear the torpedo door close. This is an actual recording. Again, you had to identify all these sounds. Here we go. Fire, this, fire the torpedo out of the submarine that you're in. Shut the door. And the torpedo goes over the horizon, so to speak. <laughs> okay, that's about it. <laughs>